Hello everyone, today I just want to give a quick tutorial on how you can create that CRT vintage screen effect that I'm showing on screen right now. Okay, so I'm in the timeline here and as you can see I have a shot and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to go to adjustment clip and I'm just going to add it on top of the footage. And the reason I'm doing the effect on top of the actual clip is so that if I have like a full timeline, normally what I do for this kind of effect is I have an adjustment clip on top and that just applies it over everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to open effects. I'm going to search for lens distortions. I'm going to drag that onto the adjustment clip. And as you can see, immediately I'm getting that screen effect. So I'm going to go here to this section here and I'm just going to slide it until I get to where I want it to be. I think that's good enough and I'm going to add like the, the pixel effect on the screen like all the different uh, pixels so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to open effects I'm going to search for scan lines and I'm going to drag that onto the adjustment clip and immediately you can see kind of that scan line CRT effect and I'm going to go to line frequency which is the size of the lines and I'm going to bring it as high up as I want I think that works as you can see this nice I don't know if YouTube is showing it let me zoom in you can see all the various scan lines and if you go down here to line sharpness you can see line sharpness is basically how strong you want it to be so if I zoom in and I make the sharpness all the way up you can see how intense it gets and if I go all the way down it kind of lessens the effect so I'm gonna make it around here I like this now I want to get that chromatic aberration effect where the chromatic aberration isn't on the actual footage because obviously uh, if it's like a movie or anything like that they don't film it with chromatic aberration most of the time so normally the a defect of the actual screens is that on the scan lines there's aberration so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to chromatic aberration removal and I'm going to drag that on here and I'm going to zoom in to show you what I mean as you can see the, the transition between the black and the actual color is very clean so what normally you can see here I'm taking the red and I'm kind of pushing it out and it's a very subtle effect let me show you before and after let me zoom in here so you can see before after before after and that kind of gives a more realistic CRT effect there we go it's very subtle but it does add to the realism and then finally what I love doing is I like adding a soft glow effect over the screen because that kind of adds the effect of oh there's a light coming from the pixels so what I normally do is I don't add it to this adjustment layer I want it to, because if I add it to this adjustment layer it'll add that effect to the um, it'll add that effect to the footage but not to the actual scan line so what I do is I make a new adjustment clip and I put that on top and then I right click open infusion page and here is where I will sh uh, click on the media in over here shift space and then I will search for soft soft glow there we go and then I'll just obviously make it a bit less intense there we go go back to edit let me just show you before and after be before after before after that's still a bit too much so I'm gonna go probably back into fusion and I'm going to drop the gain a bit yep go back to edit there we go and basically that's what I do let me just show you another benefit if you if you use the adjustment clip method you can actually make a space and then add like text to anything else so let me show you let me add some text and as you can see if I move it it's kind of in the screen so it, it, it has all the effects that you had it has it all applied so for example if I go to the lens distortion and I crank it up you can see the text also follows this effect which is quite convenient so now you can just kind of everything that you want to happen in the screen it kind of happens because it's under this adjustment these adjustment clips what you could also do is you could delete the lens distortion on this one add it to the top here so let me just go to effects so open effects and go to lens distortion let me just make it uh, as much as I want and then the reason why I'm doing this is because then you can go to the scan line effect you can right click and you can go to open infusion page you can shift space go to waviness or waves yeah waviness there there it is and then let's make uh, the scale all the way up let's make the strength way less let's make the speed slower let's zoom in so we can see the effect 
a bit too much so let's make it 0 0.4 there we go let's make the speed a bit slower let's go here and now what you can you can do you can see every so slightly because also with CRT screens, a lot of the bad quality ones or the older ones kind of had the shift. I don't really know exactly what it's called, but it kind of has the shift in the screen. So if you zoom in, you can kind of see. Oh, let me go back in here. So if you zoom in here, you can kind of see a slight shift in, in the screen. And yeah, that's basically how I created this simple vintage CRT screen effect uh yeah thank you for your time